Well, hello there, Detective Jurassic Striker here. <laughs> Welcome to a new game, Chicken Police Paint It Red. I thought I'd go ahead and check out this game after I saw some of the reviews of it. It's actually pretty fun and quite funny. And yes, it has humanoid animals. But who cares? If you're a furry, ah, that doesn't bother me. I might as well say I'm a furry too. I'm into that stuff. <laughs> I know ain't. But anyways, I uh, went ahead and did a few things to kind of get the hang of the mechanics and it's actually pretty cool. I was enjoying it. Very detective-like. Of course, there was a few games I played back in my day that had detective stuff like this. Plus, I come from a family of detective. <laughs> or mystery or solving puzzles or problems. Anything that's... Sherlock Holmes base, I guess you could say. <laughs> yeah, we grew I Yeah, I've been around that stuff a lot, so Yeah. You make a few mistakes here and there, but at least the game gives you kind of like a retry and Yeah. I'm just enjoying that. So let's go ahead and jump in because I've never played an actual full version of it because I think there was a Sherlock Holmes game that actually did come out but I think it's only for PS3 I don't think it's for PS4 but anyways continuing on now I went ahead and did everything got my gun badge or fake badge <laughs> and everything and so I'll bring up the wraps of so far what I've done not a whole lot but just to, enough to kind of get the hang of the game so this is her boss, I believe, what she said. And... Yeah, I'm gonna say it's probably her boss. Which is a friend, or, or yeah. And... Yeah, didn't do too bad. I actually got quite a bit of... Stuff, and I actually aced it to 100%. I, I, I will be honest, that was my third try. First try, I made it to three stars, and then the fourth try, I made it to four four stars. <laughs> or on my second try, I made it to four stars, and then I was like, I want to try, I want, I want to try it again. I want to get, I want to do better than before, and I made it to 100 percent. I was a little bit scared myself because I was like, I'm gonna sound like an ass, but I'm gonna click on it anyways because just to see what happens. And straight up, my guy, my Chicken coop guy was kind of smooth, so yeah. I'll go ahead and do this for you guys out there and you ladies as well, because in case you miss this part. Legs that go on for days, deep dark eyes, silky skin and voice. You're in big trouble, pal. Right, you are. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and uh, talk to her. Why don't you take her. it to the police? Just go there and file a report. Photos, flashing lights, fingerprints, you know the drill. The evidence is very clear. Even a moderately talented detective could easily wrap this case up. Or just try the phone. Triple five, triple one. Please, take a look at this. Well, okay. Let's see. Hmm. Got something new. Oh my god! Inspect. I know Molly very well. Please note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as gentleman. N. Oh, wee wee. That sounds French right there. Or town. I what know Molly. No! I didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay. I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Molly. Good gods. What was her name doing there? I glanced at the opposite wall with the well-worn picture frames. Like an eternally dark hole in the wall. A missing piece. She was wearing a light silk dress and singing a lullaby. The waves caressing her beautiful long legs. Why Molly? Why now? Hmm. Interesting. 
Mr. Featherland? Santino, are you all right? What the hell is this supposed to mean? I don't know anything, Mr. Santino. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand. Don't you? Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. It's starting to look like blackmail. Blackmail? Don't play innocent with me. But... All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? Not you. Miss <laughs> Katsenko. Oh, yes. You can find her at the Tsar Club. Didn't you tell me she's not the social kind? That she's especially unsociable? Or does she only like loud and crowded clubs? No, she's really not like that. But she owns the place. Oh. Judging by the flyer, it must be a very busy club. Especially on New Year's Eve, right? I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko. But there's one small problem, Mr. Featherland. Let me guess. Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Exactly. How did you know? Twenty years experience, ma'am. Oh, and please, call me Sonny. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. I mean, Sonny. <laughs> I'll talk about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. I'd appreciate that, Sonny. Sonny Bunny? <laughs> Alright, whoa, my god. Any more information? Alright then, so why haven't they actually call that number? Triple five, triple one. Let's see, what would happen? Uh, this number is Nothing, uh, forget it. I just want to see what would happen. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool you do that. Okay, so what else do I do? Do I just talk to you or do I, um, the last bedroom? Eh, I, I, I guess I talk to her. Do I leave? Do that? Thank you again, Mr. Feather. I mean, Sunny. Don't mention it, Deborah. I had no other plans for today, except drink. But tell me, do you have a light? I'm sorry, I, I don't smoke. Neither do I. So. Okay, well, um, how do I... Behind that door. I know. I don't know if I can. Um... Hey, I don't know that. Maybe I'm just old, and while I'm clucking about nothing ever changing, everything changes. <laughs> You've gone out of style, old bird. Accept it and move on. Yeah. Yeah. I promised myself I'd write a novel one day. Okay, so these are just, um... 
Do I need to click on something in here? No. Oh. Maybe... I'm so lost. Do I need to click on... No. Shit. Um... How do I go to my next case? How do I leave my office? Just a phone call and a good friend of mine can take you home. Thank you, Sonny. Oh. oh. Why did you... Oh my god. Oh, now the number is different. I was a, a two-three. Hey, Lewis, am I bothering you? <laughs> of course not, Sonny. Old friend, what's up? Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask if you're not busy. For you, anything. Just a minute. Lewis arrived a few minutes later. He lived in the rooms above, so it wasn't difficult getting here. Not to mention that he's a rabbit. It was a quick hop. <laughs> the Atlas Hotel was his inheritance. It was once a well-renowned place, but not anymore. The last economic crisis ruined it. And now, besides me, he was the only resident of this enormous place. Yeah. Well. The good old rabbit. I can always count on him, even on New Year's Eve. Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive Miss Ibanez home? I have some things to take care of. Of course, Sonny. <clears throat> you know anything for you. Thank you for being so considerate, Sonny. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Goodbye, then. So long, Deborah. I need to grab my stuff first. What stuff? You lost the keys to your cab anyways. Uh... Could I ask you a few more questions, Deborah? Feel free, Sonny. I need to grab my stuff first. What, what stuff? Oh, what the hell? It puts it back in here. My wallet and my badge. The wallet is real. The badge ain't. Chief Bloodboil took mine. So I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes. Just in case. I, I guess my... I mean, I'm guessing... I guess... She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but... You never know. I'm guessing because when my you log out... cigarette. Back. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light, pal. All right, Before I visit stuff. the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in this city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me. Are you two ahead of the fight? I haven't dusted you off in a while, partner. Looks like I may be needing you now. Ironic, but ever since I've been on furlough, with only my fake badge sitting in my cabinet, I feel more like a cop than I ever had before. More like a Clawville cop, anyway. Yeah. Oh, man, I totally get you. Do you now? Hmm. I wonder what happened if I didn't take it. Okay. 
can't click anything else, but okay. It was New Year's Eve, and I was driving, half drunk, risking my whole life's work. But still, it didn't feel any different. Every day was the same. And the 121 days I had left till my retirement seemed like an eternity. When I look out the window of the hotel room I call home, I see the same thing every day. A woman in a red nightgown dances slowly in circles to smooth music. The nine o'clock show <laughs> with a glass of cheap bourbon. Oh my god, is that the Playboy the silent music. symbol? <laughs> in the meantime, the proud city of Clawville is slowly eating itself alive. And we're still here, with nothing left to lose but our sanity. While others, the smart ones, had already gone. Molly. Does her name really upset me this much? All those years of solitude, and I still jump without question every time I hear it. <laughs> and then there's Marty, my ex-partner, who hates me. But I know I have to speak with him, no matter what. Yeah. Why do I feel like the past is watching me on this goddamn night? Hmm. Don't know. Kept it well. I knew where to find Marty. At the station, we'd always draw straws about holiday duty. Marty never joined in. He always took the New Year's Eve shift, even though he had someone to go home to. I understood. Ten years ago, we survived the night the press called the Bloody New Year. Forgotten by Clawville, but not by us. We both left parts of ourselves behind that night. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end it right here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this little detective scenery. <laughs> Be sure to leave a comment and hit that like button. If you're new and all, don't forget to subscribe. You know what you might miss on this detective mystery. Because mm, it is a mystery. First, I gotta go get my partner, but I think I might, I guess I might end it here. Because knowing these decisions can take quite some quality time. And don't worry, you won't, you won't miss anything. Unless certain things come into, come into play, and I have to. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But anyways, see you in the next episode. Bye! <laughs> wow. It's going to be fun.